Hi guys! So right now, we're already in our um, last topic eh, for our um, week number 5 or for this week. And this topic, basically, this is the integration of the get and post and also the ASET function that I, um, that I discussed in the previous video lectures. So right now, um, as what you can see, we are still using the registration form, the PHP. But, um, the purpose, uh, by the way, I'll be creating a, uh, I'll be creating a web page that if ever that the user checked um, the checkbox, um, it will say, thank you for registering. Or, um, uh, and if ever that the user did not check the checkbox, um, it will say, um, um, it will say, Mm. Um, you're not um, you have not accepted our terms of agreement or for example our agreement okay so why I am trying to give you an example like this because um, it will be related as well um, with your um, exercise um, next week because we need to finish first the repetition control structure before I will provide you an exercise but even though that I will not provide you an exercise this week I want you to answer um, the question that I posted in our class in Google Classroom okay so right now um, I will be creating another file but this file the name of this file it should be the validation um, the validation.php so the purpose of this one is to validate if the chat box it's being checked or not okay so I'll be changing this one to validation.php so aside from that after the last name um, I'll be creating another one moment I'll, I'll just need to copy and paste this one but I'll be changing something. So for example, here, I'll put here, um, agree to terms and conditions. Then, of course, this is a checkbox. I will be changing this one to checkbox. Then the name, it should be agree. Okay. Aside from that one, guys, um, you've noticed that I'll be inserting as well um, an hidden um, input type, okay? So I'll be putting input type here, and this is hidden. Um, by the way, why I'm using this one? Because later on in our validation, the PHP, um, I will validate... Um, this hidden input type will validate if there is a um, uh, if there is a value added to the checkbox or if the checkbox is being checked okay so I'll put one there you go there so I think we are all set let me refresh it there so the terms and the condition is actually here okay there there you go or if you want you can actually put here checked so that there so that it by default it's already been checked okay but normally in some uh, or basically in most of the um, web application the check or this checkbox it's actually not by default you need to do it manually so I will just erase that the checked and refresh it so that the user will check it good will take the checkbox like that one okay let's proceed in our validation that PHP so in the validation that PHP all of this one uh, all of um, the codes are actually in PHP form okay so I'll be putting one moment a PHP then 
if I will start right now by integrating the E set. So if, one moment, if the, one moment, um, post, then the form, I will just copy this one because we need, we are actually checking right now if this is been validated or not. Okay, after this one, semicolon, Okay, after this, I'll proceed in creating another PHP form, uh, PHP code or script. So in this PHP script, I'm actually creating another E set. E set. Then uh, this one will check if the wait for a while. If the agree is being checked. Well, for example, this one ba, the checkbox. If this checkbox is being checked or not. Okay? So, question mark in the PHP form. So, after that, uh, for example, I'll be putting P. Um, diba? I said earlier that um, if the agree or if the checkbox is being checked, ang say may mugawas, dapat ang mugawas kay thank you for registering, for example. If not, it will show you have not accepted our terms and conditions. So if basically the E set here will check if the checkbox it's being checked. If not being checked, of course, it will show you have not accepted the terms and conditions. Close the pin. There. Okay. So after that one, guys, I will go ahead and create another PHP code or PHP script. This is our else. You've noticed, ba? Na each, um, for example, um, each um, condition that I'm creating the PHP will, uh, when I also would like to include a page uh, uh, HTML tag um, diba usa lang good siya so else if else like that you've noticed that one diba so here I will be inserting another one which is h2 then here it will show thank you then I'll be calling right now the um, I'll be calling right now the katong c F name or C L name. So echo post then F name dot space again dot uh -huh, post then the L name there. So after that semicolon then close the PHP. So after closing the PHP, I'll go ahead and close the H2. Okay. So after this one, what should be the next thing to do? So else you have not yet registered. Um, sorry. Um, if the agree, it's not being checked. It will show it. Uh, it will show you have not um, accepted the terms and condition. Else. If check na daw siya, say buhaton, say buhaton sa program, must show siya thank you for registering, for example, like that. Um, for registering. There. Oh, wait for a while. Let me double check. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not yet done. It's okay. Okay, after this, uh, after the else here, uh, I will put here another P. Uh, for example, you have been registered as, um, I'll be copying this one again. Mm -hmm. 
or I'll just go ahead and put one moment guys for registering for example like that mm -hmm. then semicolon close the PHP there Okay, let's proceed. So P here, um, aside from putting that one here. Okay, one moment. Mm -hmm. We have been registered as still the same, just like this. And I'll be closing the P. Okay. There we go. Okay. So after this one, I'll go ahead and put the um, P again. The purpose of this one, it's, uh, for example, if you want to go back to the registration form, or if you want to go back to the registration form, the PHP, you can also do so by putting the go, for example, the, that's the text in the HTML tag. We are using the P tag. Then I'll insert the ahref. Um, the ahref, I believe that I already discussed this one. This is the uh, this is where we can include the link, okay, or the hyperlink. So here I'll be inserting. Wait, let me go back. This one. I'll be getting this one. Posting that one here. So after that one, I'll go ahead and put the back. Because the back will, you can see the underline or the hyperlink there in the back. Close the A. After closing the A, I'll go ahead to put the to the form. Okay, baba. Okay. After this one, after this one, I'll go ahead and uh -huh, the PHP, then in um end F. another and f because I use two ifs am I right yeah I use the two ifs there we go or for this one I'll go ahead and I'll remove this one alone because it will be shown here in put okay let me try but what's wrong here let me double check this is correct h2 p p and if it's okay let me try if this will work be. okay let me refresh it so for example i'll put my name Bernardus. Then I'll check the checkbox, then click submit. Oh, there you go. It's not working. Mm -hmm, the validation. Oh, the validation. One moment. Let me save it again. Validation the PHP validation the PHP oh, because of this one. Oh god sorry I use the post here let me double check mm -hmm. again local host registration form check this one the page is, isn't working what's wrong this one let me double check so guys ha huh? if if this is post this is form form submitted this is correct other one it's agree this is correct as well after that one 
terms and condition this is correct okay then, then after that okay this one get okay wait uh php else mm -hmm. there Tama ba? yeah next one thank you php post f name ah no i'll just remove this one along the the f name thank you fernand for example like that the same the same error mm -hmm. ESET ESET okay I forgot the not here if not agree so it will show something like this you have not accepted the terms and condition go back to this one just put that one here Mm -hmm. else php else what did they do that's why why I use the semicolon here thank you php f name this is the f name right yeah i use the f name here then after the f name uh -huh. i use the post method yeah i'm using the post method man this one F name syntax and expected else expecting and a file and if we need to put the end if here wait no not yet the end if should be here there you go that's why okay the purpose of the end if by the way guys since i created two if statements in the php part on the back end um you've noticed that i also use um two end ifs because this will serve as the ending of the else so this one this is first in last out so the end if for the, this e set it's actually here the end if of this another e set for the agree it should be here so this is the code for that one okay let me try again hopefully this time no more error so for example fernand gomez terms and condition submit there you go thank you fernand you have been registered as Fernand Gomez okay so what if I will um, I will not check this one submit so here you have not accepted the terms and condition go back to the form there you go okay so um, let's go back to the error that we had earlier because of the proper indention of our end if take note that since we have two end ifs um, this if this is the closing end if then this if this is the closing one okay we're all set thank you